Dr. Perry here with Edgar, and uh, we're going to go over his x rays today. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to show you the dichotomy between what you guys see um, on this full spine and what he's actually feeling. Because there's a lot of people out there who are going to think that uh, I have to adjust full spine to address his issues. His issues are pretty great, and you're going to see those. They're, they're nice and black and white, so we can uh, start a dialogue here and have a good conversation about this. Uh, we'll talk about how Edgar is doing after we go over the x rays and see, let you see his uh, adjustment so far. Okay, so x rays. So, uh, Stand back a little for a second. So see this? I don't know if you can see that on the, X, on the um, camera, but you can see nice scoliosis, lots of scoliosis in his back. And so uh, everybody out there is a full spine adjusting kind of person, kind of persona out there. And they think, oh, well, you have to address his scoliosis. Here's a scoliosis, 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 scoliosis. He also has a short left leg over here. It's very easy to see. 17 millimeter short left leg. Spina bifida, his non-union of his bones back here. He's got lots and lots of issues that everybody would be like, well, you have to address those issues directly. But I'm here to say we don't. We've adjusted just his neck. We've not treated anything else. We haven't just adjusted anything in his body. He's doing much better. Like I said, I'll let uh, Edgar tell you that in a minute. So anyways, let's go over the different issues here. So um, what I look for is I look for balance, which we've talked about in other x-ray videos. Here's the bottom of the spine right here. Here's the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. And so uh, what I want to see is I want to see which way the spine leans, this way or this way, okay? And relative to the head here. So the head, you can see it's leaning to the right. I didn't take the measurement on this. And it's probably leaning about 15 millimeters to the right. So the middle of the neck is right here and the middle of the back. So you can see it pretty easily. That's the most important thing I look for. And why I look for that is because balance is the most important thing. We talked about leverage and leverage creates torque. That torque um, creates opportunity for these weaknesses, these scoliosis to have problems, okay? So that's the most important thing. Second most important thing I look for is not this again. I look for head position up here. So head position is tilt to the right. See that right here? Okay. Gotcha. And so it's tilt to the right. And why is that important? Well, it tells me how much pressure is up in your neck. And so that's the corrective power that I need to work on. So I need to know what's going on so I can get in there and work better, okay? Next thing I look for is I look for TMJ issues, okay? So position here, position here. You want to see if the jaw shifted right or left. It's not really overly shifted at all. I would say if anything, it shifted to the left a little bit. But uh, the tilt and the imbalance is the most important thing. Now, after that, I look at these different spots in here. Everywhere I've made marks in the back are pinched nerves, okay? And so again, everybody out there is gonna say, and you're gonna think, well, let's address the pinched nerves, right? Well, the pinched nerves are important, but I just call them areas of weakness. Those are opportunistic places that um, imbalances attack, okay? Um, so uh, <clears throat> let's see, you have more than most, and that's why I wanna do this video is because eight degree curve here, 11 degree curve here, 12 degree curve down here. Plenty of places for people to go, why aren't you addressing those directly? And it makes sense, right? Because you can see them. Yes, definitely. Right? But we're here to say that Edgar hasn't even been touched in these places, but he's feeling a ton better. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so let's address each one. So eight degree up here between here. Um, T3 is definitely the most out here. T9 over here, L2 over here. So I like to see where the weaknesses are too. I like to see what's going on, but really the funny thing is is that balance trumps all of that. Trump, I just said that, oh, sorry. Um, spina bifida, again, non-union these bones down here. That should be a weakness, that should be a problem. He has a genetic uh, abnormality down here. Is that the, a big problem? Could be in some respects, but it's not. He doesn't even notice it, but he has scoliosis, spina bifida, and he has a short leg. He has a lot of genetic weaknesses that allow his body to do this, okay? So the other thing, 17 millimeter short left leg. So everybody out there be like, address the short leg. You've got to lift that up, which would make sense, right? So why is he doing better when I don't even address the short leg? Why is he doing better when all I do is address the neck? Because the neck is the influencer. The, the brain influences balance, and that balance affects leverage, and that leverage uh, creates torque. This is important. These are important, but only minor, minor. If they were the most important thing, then what I do wouldn't work. Sort of makes sense, right? Okay. okay. Any questions about what you see, Edgar? I just didn't know. Uh, you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but the funny thing is, is that how are you doing so far? I feel more mobile. Yeah, you, you're feeling better, right? Yeah. And I haven't even touched these areas. Yeah. But you are messed up. I mean, on a on a black and white scale, X-ray scale, these are all radical out of position things that. In the past, I would have been like, oh my God, Edgar, we gotta adjust this here. Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta do this over here. And you'd be like, oh dude, yeah, you're right. And you could say, oh, we gotta get a lift over here. We gotta do all this stuff. And I, I could tell you that. And you'd be like, sure. But all we've done is adjust his neck. 
That's all I've done, people. And so I, like I said, this is an important video because we're just his neck. He has all these issues and things are changing. And if my work wasn't working, it wouldn't change it. Okay, so other questions? No. Close your mind, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty scary. Scary. Okay, so side view. So side view um, should look, look like this side view thing. Good posture, head over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. The more these bones stack like bricks, the more you put your body weight in the brick. The worse the posture, the more leverage. The more leverage, the more torque, the more torque, the more pain. Simple as that, okay? So this is the way it's supposed to look. Here's his spine right here. I'm gonna lay this over his spine, okay? You can see the difference. Here's his spine, here's his belly, here's his neck, okay? So I'm gonna make this spine look like his, I'm gonna make this spine look like his spine. Okay? And you see how much more pressure is added. Mm. See, I'm not even exaggerating. That's it right there, right? Yeah. Okay. And then the neck. That's sort of how it looks right there. So is that comfortable? No. So it's leverage. I mean, you can even see it when you see three-dimensionally how much more pressure that is. Okay? And so repercussions of this bad posture. He has a sway back back here. Back is popping out. He hunches right here. Um, a little bit of an inverted back up here because he tries to have good posture. Uh, extend, extended uh, lordosis down here. The nerves that come out down here are very pinched because of how he stands. All these are poor posture things. Okay. Any questions about that? Okay. So let's take a look at his neck. And again, this is where I know the problems come from, and I try to explain to everybody out there where the problems come from. But this is where the problems come from. Okay. So let me move this over here. Okay, this is his neck. You can come over here and look closer again. Yeah. You see that? Good, don't move around too much, just a little closer. Okay, stay right there, good. So uh, what we wanna see is we wanna see a round atlas back here. And you can see how it's flat in the bottom right here. You can see this whole back is flat. This bone has worn the bottom of that bone off. Mm -hmm. Now, this curve should be like this. And I'll show, you the, I'll show you the normal in a second. This is the reverse curve right here. So this curve goes the wrong way. So these bones back here, instead of coming together, they splay apart. And as they splay apart, they put abnormal pressure on the atlas, which causes, again, more leverage. And that leverage puts pressure on the brainstem, which fits right in here, which is our balance centers of our body. Okay, so take a look at this, guys. You see the curve here? You see the atlas? These are the important things. A little arthritis right here, that little wave right there is a little arthritis. These are not arthritis. Now come over here. And this is a near normal spine. So see the curve I was talking about? Here's the round atlas, okay? And here, no arthritis in here. Okay, so um, so this again puts pressure on your spine. Oops. Okay. Um, so let's talk. Any questions about that? No. Yeah. Okay. So again, uh, all really easy to see the imbalances in the spine. Okay. So let's talk about how to fix it. Simple, simple, simple. We've talked about this many times. The um, simple part is actually working on him. The simple part is adjusting him. The simple part is making him feel better. The hard part is getting it to stay. So we talk about a thing called muscle memory. Muscle memory is the idea that your body doesn't want to change. It wants to stay the way you put it. Uh, God doesn't care whether you have a great life. He just cares that you're living. And so uh, if you want a better life, you have to work for that. Meaning if you want to lose weight, if you're too heavy, if you're too skinny, you want to put muscle on. If you're not healthy, you want to eat right. Those things are up to you. Those are up to you. Those are the quality of life issues, okay? Chiropractic is a quality of life, life issue. And so uh, what we do here is we want to change what is inside him right now. And he's feeling it so far, but how do you do that? We talk about muscle memory. And so muscle memory is the idea that if you can't, um, that you uh, have something wrong, you just want to change. So braces on teeth I use as the analogy here. So have you had braces on your teeth before? No. Okay, so braces you wear them for a couple of years, right? After you take them off, what do you wear? A retainer, no a retainer, right? If you don't wear the retainer, the teeth move back. Have you heard that before? Okay. Yeah. They move back. And so you guys all heard this before, and that's an easy analogy because if the teeth move back, that means the body doesn't want to change. Even though you've worn braces for years, we call that muscle memory, okay? Second, how do you change muscle memory without braces? I can put braces on his back, which would be ridiculous, or I can talk about exercise, or I, not, I could talk about training. Really, that's about training. So I'm gonna train your body to be better. So if you go to the gym and you exercise, how much exercise does it take to make your body look different? 
A little or a lot? A lot. A lot, right? If you want to throw it, shoot a basketball, how much train, how many times do you have to shoot a basketball to do it right? How many times do you have to kick a soccer ball to do it right? A ton of times. The more effort you put in, the more benefit you get out. Chiropractic is just like that, okay? So the long and short of the people is this, is that every time you come in, you're always gonna feel better. The moment, the moment I stop treating you, the body starts unwinding. Muscle memory's kicking in. The only way to overcome muscle memory is for me to train your body, to train it not to go back out of alignment. And then what we do is we journal, we take note of what's going on, that's what I have, have in your journal. And so we also find out the things you do that unwinds it faster. And so we can correct those biomechanical mistakes. And the more you do this stuff over here, the more you train, the more you un unwind the things you do, the more your muscle memory doesn't kick in, the more you hold your adjustment, the longer you feel better. Makes sense. Does that make sense? Yes. Good, perfect. So, anyways, any questions about your x-rays, about what I said? No. It's pretty terrifying. <laughs> it's pretty terrifying. Yeah. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about the positive now, guys. I, like I said, I'm bringing this to you because I want you to see the difference here, the big difference of how this spine looks like crap, but he's still feeling better. So, Edgar, tell us how you're feeling. So yeah, I do feel uh, more mobile, uh, less uh, stiffness around my neck. My shoulder is uh, a lot stronger. I feel like I can go back to work now. I'd say about like a 70% difference in pain. How many times have I treated you, sir? Uh, this is going to be my third time today. Yeah, so, only adjusted him twice. Yes. What have I adjusted on you? Just my neck. Just your neck. And so he came with headaches. How many, how, mm. how are you doing with headaches? Yeah, and I haven't had a headache since uh, my first adjustment. And how many, how long was that kind of a problem for you? That was like a, it occurred like three times a day, in the morning for sure, uh, throughout the day and before I went to sleep. Yeah. We've only touched his neck, guys. And then how about uh, the pain in your right arm? Uh, my right arm pain is, uh, is not there. It's, I just feel a little numb. Yeah. He's not so, better, guys. He's better. Yeah. He's not 100%. He's just better, but only two adjustments. How about the weakness in your hand? You said the grip. I feel much stronger. Yeah. Feel much stronger, Definitely. right? Yeah. Where I could go back to work and actually do my job. Yeah. So uh, how old are you again? I'm 26. Yeah. You got a lot of issues. Why so many issues? Because the underlying pro problem is still there, but we're doing pretty freaking good and all we've adjusted is neck. Hey, Dr. Thayer here with Edgar. Uh, this is going to be his third visit, right? Yes. And uh, you came in because you had a ton of pain, right? You can yes. tell us about your pain in a second. Yeah. But uh, you really came in because why? You haven't been working for how long? Uh, three months. Three months. Why? I messed up my shoulder. Uh, it was a freak accident. Pulled the lawnmower and. But so bad out. that you couldn't work. Yeah. Right. What has that done to you by not working? Yeah, man, it's affected my sleep, my concentration, uh, my peace, uh, just lots of stuff. Yeah. And so uh, people think that, you know, taking time off work is a good thing and because, oh, rest and. I rest a little bit, I'll get better, and mm -hmm. right, three months of resting did what? Yeah, just cause anxiety. More anxiety, mm -hmm. and it also takes away from your human human nature to provide and to be, you know, a provider and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And so you you feel less of a man, kind of, because you don't do what just you're on this earth to do, sort of speak, you know? Exactly. Um, um, so uh, what have we done in three visits for you? Yes. Yeah, so uh, I really uh, started noticing uh, results after my third uh, adjustment my second adjustment felt kind of uh, uh, wobbly but after my third I did feel like a 70% decrease in pain and uh, yesterday uh, it was amazing I didn't have any tenderness in my shoulder um, no pain at all um, I'm coming here today because I did notice that when I took a nap uh, last night uh, I take naps because I really can't sleep that very well. Uh, took a nap uh, on my stomach and with my neck stretched out because it felt good. But within those uh, 25 minutes that I was sleeping, I felt my neck uh, get uh, tight more, again. more tight. Yeah. So again, he has had a remarkable success. Mm -hmm. And let's just finish. Let's finish with this, and I'll, call, I'll touch on this again. In three visits, what are you doing now? You're gonna go back to work, right? Yes, um, I'm gonna go back to work. And you and feel like charged and ready to go back to work? Yes, you don't even know. I, I feel like I could, uh, I work construction and uh, I had to take these three months off because I need to figure out how to fix my shoulder, but now I feel confident that I could uh, 
performing. Perform. Yeah, good, right on. And so, uh, again, I'm not saying that he's done in this office. I'm not saying that he's perfect. Uh, he said also he has to put some money together to come back in. We need to have yes. him work, right? So there's, those are all issues. But again, sleeping on your stomach is not something you should be doing and mm -hmm. turning your neck. He feels it and he'll feel these things come up and he'll be back. But uh, I just want to show you how fast you can get back to work, how fast you don't have to be out for three months. Mm -hmm. Don't wait, people. I mean, why? Like you, you could have been going back to work three months ago. Yeah, I, I just had a trust in my uh, doctors, Kaiser. You know, they couldn't do nothing. I went. With, uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> I went and did their physical therapy for uh, three months. Nothing until I found my doctor Ace. Yeah. So, anyways, the thing I wanted to get down to the story here was that um, he's been out of work for three months. He's done everything he possibly can do. He's rested. He's done what the medical community told him to do. He, the physical therapist told him to do. He did the mainstream thing and all for shit. Three adjustments here and he's doing better. So uh, I'm stoked to send you back to work. Yeah, uh, I'm let you guys watch the next adjustment and uh, and we're gonna wish you well too. Thanks. Good. Thanks. Go ahead and uh, lay it back over here. Let's do it. Yep. Is this too bright with the Nice. So what does that feel like? Just relief. It does feel instant relief? Instant. Yeah. yeah. The tightness just goes away. Yeah. And you felt the tightness when you came mm -hmm. in? Right? Yeah. It's amazing. Good. One more. one <laughs> that was the best one why yeah. is it the best one i don't know i felt like uh all my shoulders that were tight just pull for like a good second and mm. just release i don't know it felt really amazing <laughs> <laughs> good yeah. i'm glad we could help you edgar okay so um that's edgar's story up to this point uh we're sending him back to work we're really stoked for him and we'll see him in the future but uh check it out